Hello again, Internet. My voice is kind of hoarse today because I spent all day yesterday riding roller coasters and screaming my head off. Uh, bad timing considering that right after I upload this video, I'm going to be downloading the new Journey song on Rock Band and trying to match Steve Perry's singing voice. So Van Jedi thinks I should do a video about my obsession with mermaids. I don't know what you're talking about. What, a guy owns all three Little Mermaid movies on DVD and the soundtrack and suddenly he's got an obsession? And the NES game? And the crappy anime version from the crappy 1970s on crappy VHS? And the Splash Woman's theme song is my ringtone? Now if you want a mermaid obsession, you have to look up a lady named Nadia Vesey, a New Zealander who replaced her amputated legs with a fish tail. I suppose that I know about this woman at all could be construed as evidence that I do, in fact, have an obsession, but what I find most fascinating about this story is that this woman was like, Hey, science, give me a fish tail. And science was all like, okay, sure. Stories where somebody wants something crazy and then we actually have the technology and understanding to give it to them are pretty amazing. Unfortunately, I think stories like that might be in the minority throughout history. Uh, take, for example, Nikola Tesla, an honest-to-God mad scientist. I mean, here's a guy who the only thing keeping him from having a volcano base shaped like his head was lack of funding. Tesla was already a super genius ten times over for inventing things we still use every day, like alternating current and radio transmissions. But he never got to complete his magnum opus, which was a network of foreboding towers, which would each complete the electrical circuit between the currents in the Earth's crust and the ones up in the ionosphere. What Tesla wanted to do was tap into these currents so people could transmit electricity and information to anywhere on the planet, and he wanted to do this at the turn of the century. If this sounds something like wireless internet to you, it kind of is, and we could have had it 90 years earlier if we'd listened to Nikola Tesla. But that whole World War I thing happened, and everybody put their investments into telegraph technologies. Tesla never got his towers built, so we've been shackled to power lines ever since. To be fair, many modern scientists don't even believe the magical wireless world that Tesla envisioned is even a possibility, and that his plan for world domination was doomed to failure. Then again, Tesla didn't leave a lot of his notes behind when he died, so it's possible he really was that smart and just knew something the rest of us still don't. Wireless internet in 1910, YouTube in 1920. I think it's safe to say that every major event in the last 90 years would have gone down differently. So how many super geniuses are there in the world who have never seen their ideas become reality? That's kind of depressing, actually. How did this video start out on mermaids and end up depressing? I need to work on this. Well, thanks for watching. Leave comments. I'll see you next week.